Hi everyone, welcome back. So, as you already saw on the title, we're talking about Clubhouse. Now, I didn't know about Clubhouse until I think I saw like a random YouTube video. I haven't like, no one has told me anything about it. I think Twitter people are the ones that mostly know, but I'm not on Twitter like all the time. So I just kind of slowly heard about it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I opened the app, but you need an invitation. So whatever, I waited and I actually got it like last week by someone random. So I don't know if this just happens or if they accidentally put in the wrong number. I don't know, but I got invited, whatever. I used it and well, I personally think it's overrated, but let's not just talk about why it's overrated. Let's first go over it and then I'm gonna just talk about the cool things about it, the things I really basically love and hate, pros and cons type of thing. So we'll go over that. But first, let me show you kind of like how it is. So you send in, I mean, you create a username, whatever. But like I said, you have to get invited. Like you can't just join like any other app, you know? I think supposedly because they're still like playing around with it, trying to get it good and things like that. They don't want it to crash, I'm guessing, because I mean, that would suck. You wouldn't even be able to use it if it crashes. So that's the whole thing. And so, yeah, so you have to wait or for someone to invite you. And like I said, I luckily got invited by someone random. I'm sorry if it was by accident, but thank you because I got access to it. So then, yeah. So then, then I think I have two invites, which I already invited someone, which is how I'm going to be able to show you how it looks like from the start. Well, it's just not the part where you have to put in your info because I don't want you all to see that. So basically, I have it right here. I'm going to explain it and put it on the screen right next to me. So basically, first, before this little screen that you're about to see right here, first, it'll tell you, oh, you got invited by blah, blah, blah. And this is your friend, the person that invited you. And I'm like, oh, OK, cool. And it tells you to add in your information, which is where you end up um, putting your name, username, and then you finally get to the part that you see right here. So then it says, great, now add a picture. Well, I'm gonna skip, obviously, if you want, you can add it. Would like to access your contacts. I mean, that's up to you. I'll just click okay. Let's start by following the people you know. That's me, I'm right there, looks good. So then this is the part where it's like, okay, so what are you mostly interested? In mine, I put like random, business stuff because I'm really into business, a bunch of random things, which I'm just going to put whatever here. Um, Faith, I'm just not going to follow anything right now. Um, this is, I guess, Latinos since we're Latinos. Mm, I'm not going to put woman because the person I put this for is not a woman. Um, I guess we'll just stick to Latinos, whatever. And I guess wellness, weights, fitness. Um, let's just stick to that. Languages, I, I guess we could put Spanish, but I don't, in mine personally, I didn't put any language. I just skipped it. Knowledge, I mean, if you're into math, go for math, psychology, whatever. So here we're just gonna put psychology. Uh, I don't wanna hear about COVID no more. Ew. <laughs> um, what else? Um, these are places, I don't really care. Hang out. Okay, welcome newbies. There's me, people, whatever. We're just gonna put some random sports here. We'll put football is good and basketball is favorite. Here arts, we're just gonna put food and drinks. Live, we're gonna put traveling, support, I guess. Hustle, stocks are good. Real estate is good. I guess small business and I guess just to not get into more into that, that's basically all we're going to put in. So then you click find people, which then I remember what happens. It's going to prompt you to follow a bunch of random people. So it's like, oh, hey, look, follow all these random people. And me personally, I like unchecked a bunch of people that I was like, okay, why though? But just for purposes of this video, because I could just go back and delete it i'll just leave it so basically this is what happens it'll give you more suggestions down as you can see more and more oh, okay that's it so i'll just click follow for now and then clubhouse would like to send you notifications okay sure 
Sure, sure. And then there, you're in. You're officially, what you're seeing, you're in the app. So then there, this is basically all the random talks. And there's a bunch of random ones. Uh, Bitcoin is going to 22K. 22K, it's actually at 33K right now. Um, the biggest marketing mistake, um, Coop House, good vibes. Um, if vaginas could talk, I mean, it's random things. So this is where all the talks, I'm not gonna click on one because I think you're not supposed to, I think it's against a violation. So basically you would click on one and then you can talk and everything like that. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So, oh, and you can start your own room, but as you can see, open, social, or closed. And yeah, and so, yeah, that's basically it. So now let's just talk about the app. Okay, okay, okay. Pros or cons, okay. Nah, let's just discuss. Like, I don't wanna get, we'll just discuss everything in the middle. So, I don't know where to start. Like, it's just weird, like, okay, let's talk about it. So, I'm gonna go over quick pros. I mean, one pro is that you can actually meet people, connect, it's kind of like networking, right? Um, and it's just voices, so it's nothing but literally voices, like y'all are just talking, vibing, and things like that. Like, okay, that's cool, like you get to meet people, right? In a whole different way. You're actually interacting, not just following someone like, you know, where you follow and you just watch them. No, you're actually like, hey, this, that, you, you can actually talk and give your own input. That's cool, okay. But then the con is, okay, one, to me, it felt like I was in the classroom because there's actually a little thing where you could raise your hand and I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Like, what, are we training ourselves to be in school again or in a Zoom classroom? I don't know. To me, it was just kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. It makes sense to put a raise your hand because, I mean, you're not all going to be talking all over each other. I mean, I completely get it. It was just weird to me. So then, yeah. So I was like, yeah. And then aside from that, some of the chat rooms are kind of weird. Like, honestly, they're just like, I don't know. I feel like some people are clout chasing, not to be messed up, but I mean, that is reality. And then, I don't know, it just, and I've heard this a lot, but it does seem like some people are just kind of like faking it or like, it's just so weird. I don't even know how to tell y'all. It's like, okay, like I was saying, it's cool you can network, right? That was the pro. But in a weird, it's in a weird, in a way, it's just like, oh, millionaires this, millionaires that, and how to be wealthy and successful. Like, even though you saw the categories I chose, you don't really get all those categories fulfilled all the time. Like, if I were to go right now, which I'm gonna pull it up. Um, okay, I'm gonna refresh it. Oh, sorry, let me screen record it so I can put it here again. Um, okay. So I'm gonna open it. You have two new invites. Okay, yeah, because I can invite. Okay, so 10 mindset hacks for entrepreneurs. Okay, it's all money, like, I don't know, the round table, turn your passion into a business. Okay, the vaginas, if vaginas could talk. Um, Instagram secrets, like it's that type of networking where everyone's like trying to make it, which I get it, we should all be able to make it. Like, it, that's cool, but I feel like sometimes like, I've gone on some and the information was just like, okay, I could have just found this wherever or it wasn't such great information. Maybe I'm in the wrong ones, don't get me wrong. I don't know, just in my opinion, it's kind of like fishy basically. So how to make six figures selling $2 products on Amazon. I already know what that is, but <laughs> instant Instagram engagement and networking. Like everyone's just trying to, almost a share for share type of thing. So it's kind of like, okay, like in my opinion it's kind of like if i tried on my youtube to do the share for share, follow for follow that a lot of people do it's kind of like what's the point of that if we're just following each other to increase subscribers instead of increasing actual people you want to bring into your channel it doesn't make sense it's just like oh we're not gonna watch each other there's no point in follow for follow like that's kind of what's happening here in my opinion yeah that's how i feel so it was just kind of weird so that was like the main pro and con, like it's just, I don't know. In my opinion, like, okay, now setting that aside, like it's not that bad of an app, but I think it's super overrated. That's what I was saying. Like it is not all that. And personally, I'm, for, for someone that's kind of like an introvert, I'm not gonna say I'm, 
I don't know if this is even possible, but I don't, I feel like I'm an introvert to a certain extent. Like I'm very there. Like if there was a bar, like super introvert and not that introvert, I feel like I'm right in the middle. So for someone that is kind of in the middle of an introvert, like one, I do not like speaking, like I could care less to speak. So I'm more of a listener there. I don't really interact. And then the people that are interacting, you just kind of listen or me personally. I would listen, I was like, oh, okay, cool. There were some talks that were kind of like, come on. Like, y'all really just want to talk about sex? And I don't know, some talks were just kind of like, oh, okay, people here are trying to themselves. They're trying to find the match here. So it was kind of like, what the hell? And I'm in the entrepreneur ones and all that. I mean, they were, okay some informational some not like i said i mean it's information i could find myself personally i mean the only thing is i mean you're talking to someone that's been in the business of things her whole life like so maybe it's just me but i just didn't like it i don't know it's just so overrated to me like i don't even know how to explain to y'all that it's so overrated like how could i tell y'all hmm. uh i don't know I don't know. I I just feel in a classroom, I think it's a weird social media platform. I don't think it'll ever be up there, up there, but hey, you never know. You never know. I could be completely wrong and this is like the new era of social media. But I didn't like it. I really did not like it. Um, but take it, take your own risk, I guess. Try it out. You might like it. You might not feel like Raising your hand is weird. You might feel like, oh, okay. You might actually like talking and you you will have fun with this app. I personally don't. And the only thing is, I like to hear very knowledgeable things. I don't like just to talk about like random little things. I don't know, like, and knowledgeable, I mean like, I'm very specific. Like, I like something to fit in my brain that'll like really help me for my whole life or in the future or will feed a new information and i don't feel like that was for me and then that's why i, I clicked personally a lot of little car categories that i was like "Ooh, i'm gonna learn things about this but like i feel like maybe we don't have all the audience we need or all the people we need because even though i selected a major amount of categories like why am i not getting a bit of everything it's just entrepreneurs and millionaires this and millionaires that and and like oh let's talk about men or why men do this why do men cheat and why do women do this and why do, like i was like okay so it's just two top uh, also been two topics two topics we're talking about here so i don't know to me it was weird maybe i need to give it more chance i mean i'm still gonna try it out watch it more but i think it's overrated i really do so i don't know so that's basically it. That's all I have to say for this app. I did not like it. But hey, if you want to try it out, I have one invite for someone. Just comment down below anything, why you want to try it out. And I'll send you the invite so you can get a chance to get, join it already. And try it out for yourself. I mean, it's not the same. We're not all the same. I just really think it's overrated. Um comment down below why you would want to check it out or comment something i don't know that you want my the invite and i'll send it to a random person if a lot of, i don't know how many people are gonna end up commenting down below but if it's a lot of people then i'll definitely like do a random choosing and yeah but yeah so i hope this was kind of informational i feel like i came here to rant <laughs> But I hope this was helpful. At least you got to see how it looks and my major pro and con basically. So yeah, there goes that with the overrated Clubhouse app. Sorry, I did not like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna find my way myself out of this. Clubhouse is gonna be like, Delete this girl from this app. She ain't gonna have access no more. Don't be like that clubhouse. I'm trying to give you a chance. Okay, bye.